welcome back to Good Day State Line. It's Tuesday, Trends Day, and today we had to celebrate National Espresso Day with Rockford Roasting Company. Benjamin is here. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. So excited. Since the last time I saw you, you have a whole new location. I know. Very exciting. We just opened. Well, it's been a it's been, it's a, been while. a while now. It's been a while. We opened. <laughs> uh, it's been open about a year okay. in the new Embassy Suites location downtown. So we've got two cafes, and it's definitely twice the work. Us, yeah, I'm we're, sure, we're but it's worth it. Yeah. And it's worth it for all of us who are in downtown Rockford and we want coffee because the hotel location is open late, right? Yes, okay. um, on you know Friday. Well, the main cafe is open late too, Monday okay. through Thursday, and then the hotel is open late. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I so. love, I, you can find coffee downtown now at almost every hour. It's amazing. <laughs> you also, just before we get to the rest of the coffee, there's ice cream in that. Yep, we partnered well. up with the Dairy House up in Rockton and they, they bring us ice cream. Um, so, yeah, that's a fun yeah, thing I don't to think do later in the day because sometimes you don't want to have espresso after a certain point of the day. Sure, unless you, some of us. Unless you're a night owl. <laughs> but I don't think there's a lot of places where you can just get like a scoop of ice cream downtown either. Right. So, one of the ones, yeah. yeah, and I was telling Ben before we started, I was like, I feel so fancy when I walk into a hotel that I'm not staying at, and I'm like, I'll just have a cup of coffee. And a, a pro tip, <laughs> yeah. ice cream and espresso on top. We have that on the menu. It's called an affogato. Yes. You can pick um, any of the flavors, and then we have multiple espresso options as well, so that's See, a fun little thing to do. making the holiday so much better, <laughs> and we're not even in December. Uh, so, speaking of the holidays, you have some seasonal drinks. Yep. So tell us about what we have. Yeah, so um, every season we try to do a seasonal drink menu, um, just kind of play off of the themes of the season. You know, we're we're in the Thanksgiving kind of fall season now, so we've got a fun list of those. Um, and then later this week we'll be launching our, you know, Christmas holiday sure. season drinks. So yeah, we've got a couple of those okay. that we get to try today. Let's try them. Definitely. Me. Yeah, I'm going to try You're them. You're going to try them. Okay, should I All start right, with which one? Let's start with the, um, the winter spice caramel okay. latte. I oh. think on the menu it's called Naughty and Spice. Oh, that's what I like it. Fun. Naughty and Spice. Um, okay. It's basically a... A latte that we sweeten with a vegan caramel syrup. Cool. Um, and then it has a winter spice blend, and that blend includes like cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, fennel, anise. So there's kind of a licorice-y sort of vibe that just kind of sends it in a different direction than like a like a fall spice blend. And you guys do a lot of work when you create these. Like, how long does a drink like that take to invent? Um, the the creation process of like coming up with the flavors is kind of something that the team kind of gets together on. We spitball ideas. And then the process of like getting the ingredients together and then kind of mocking up some samples. It's about a week process okay. and it's off and on. It's, I mean, we try to do it leading up to whenever we're going to launch the menu. Sure. This specific menu is going to hopefully launch um, by the weekend for cool. Stroll on State. Perfect. So we'll have everything is at both locations. Is that in here? Yep. Okay. Um, and then another thing about this one, it might not translate because we're pouring it out of the Sure, thermos. I'm not at Rocket Roasting <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, we're still in the GDS studio, not quite at the, uh, at the shop. But we top it, this oh one God, with a... Oh, God, it smells so good. We top it with a smoked sea salt. Okay. Um, which kind of, when it's in the latte cup, you bring it up to your lips it and like it just cookie. smells great. And then you touch, touch it to your lips and it just kind of... You start salivating before you even take a sip. Um, so I'm, that I'm like, that it smells so good. Is, I like, I want this in a candle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it also tastes really good. And this one's made with our seasonal espresso blend, which is called Stay Festive. Um, we come out with this every year, and it's, I mean, we're roasting three or four times a week this time of year just to keep this one on the shelf. This is so good. It tastes like my dad's favorite Christmas cookies that you can buy at the store, Jingles, but nice. like upped times 10, and yeah. then with coffee. Yeah. So good. I love yeah, it. It's got the nice, the flavors mm. and the aroma. Obviously, in the thermos, we, we try to keep it hot no, for I you. I still like it. Over, just, plus, I don't like my coffee burning hot. This is my favorite coffee temperature. Whatever this is, this is what I want. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is this mm -hmm. one's made with oat milk. Okay. So that's the that's thing we try to kind of highlight. And um, like I mentioned, it has the vegan caramel, mm -hmm. which it's a caramel sauce. A lot of caramel is made with cream and butter. Okay. So people who are plant-based can't really enjoy drinks like this. And then we do all, obviously always have oat milk and almond milk available. So this whole thing is dairy-free? Exactly. Very cool. I like it a lot. I know that's a super big trend, oat milk. Exactly, yeah. Um, for a lot of different coffee uh, experimenters and yeah. really around every sort of industry. We I think still probably milk. sell more like whole milk and, and dairy milk, um, but oat milk has been on the rise for the last several I years. I like it. I like almond milk too, but I think there's something about the oat milk where you don't get as much of a like different flavor exactly, versus yeah. almond milk. You gotta be ready yeah, for the, the oat almond. milk's really neutral. It's a good base for <laughs> yeah, things like this. We can add, <laughs> add the different flavors to it and it allows you to, you know, you taste the caramel, you're not tasting almonds. Yes, right. But then we do play around with those flavors as well. Right, if but it's with a purpose. Yeah. Exactly, okay, yep. so this one, this one's decaf, but I'm still gonna try it. And what yep. is this? So this one we use our decaf espresso. I feel like that's a misconception about espresso is that it's always oh. this like highly caffeinated thing. 
We can make any of our drinks with decaf espresso. This one is, oh, this is fun. also fully vegan, I'll point that out. Um, it's a white chocolate so mocha probably. that we make in house. And then we pair that with a juniper rosemary syrup that we're also making in house. Sounds very So fancy. the juniper and the rosemary kind of send it in this like savory, sweet, like spicy direction, but it's like obviously a different set of spices than the other one. Um, and then the white mocha. I feel like white mocha is like Christmas. Oh, it is. Right? Yeah, like snow. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> we've, we've been playing around with like these this flavor profile for a while. Um, we've done like rosemary white mochas. We've done thyme white mochas. Um, and then this one we, we thought juniper might be a fun one. So yeah. we actually we bought juniper berries and we're, cool. we're making a simple syrup. I love all the creative things you have going on, especially since your menu is always changing. But also I know you can just stop by and get a latte mm -hmm. anytime too if someone's yep. afraid of flavors. The two addresses, both on the same street, which we love, <laughs> is uh, right on your screen. And they have gifts and you can buy the coffee to go as well. Thank you so much for stopping by Thanks. today. If you've seen any trends on social media that you want us to try, you can send them to us on Facebook or email gds at fox39.com. We'll be right back.